Hey guys, my name's Slick. Welcome to another video. Today we're actually going to go over some low settings uh, to keep your frame rates high. This should be applicable to just about every system out there. So let's go ahead and get into that. Now, before we continue, I post Elyon videos just about every couple days. So if you're interested in that content, updates, guides, anything like that, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and liking the video. Thanks very much. We're going to go ahead and start with the lowest stage one. This is the lowest graphic settings that Elyon offers. All right. My frame rate is insane. I can already tell it's it's max. It's matching my <laughs> it's matching my refresh rate. That's a ton of frames. All right. Uh, frames are great, but I like to look at the game. You know, I don't want to just have good frames. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this and we're going to adjust it so that the game matches what we want to see. First thing we're going to turn off is use real time optimization. Let's turn that off. Uh, what this is going to do essentially is try to continuously lower or raise your graphics in order to keep a consistent frame rate. This may cause tearing. This can cause stuttering. I recommend just all the time. Turn this off. It does not provide much of a benefit. If you really want better frames, just lower your graphics. I've had many people tell me that this is the reason that their game was looking bad. So if your game does look bad, even though your settings are high, go ahead and turn this feature off. Character display quantity. Let's go ahead and leave this low. That's less frames taking up for us. Airship quality low. House quality low. Gesture low. Deaths low. Effects. Let's go ahead and raise this to normal. Character shadows. We need shadows. All right. Let's at least put very low. Uh, you can put very low normal here. The house. Uh, you can go ahead and put your settings. You can max your settings in your house uh, if you wanted to. I mean, you're going to be in an instance, right? So real time shadow quality, at least you at least want very low here. Let's move on character display distance. Let's go ahead and turn this down a bit. Uh, this is we don't need this. You can also turn character effect display down to zero with keeping your frames up when other players are around you farming. Display my pets only. This will also help you. I mean, almost everybody in the game has a pet, right? So that's going to help you a ton. Background effects, go ahead and keep those off. Background decals, you can keep these off as well. This is unnecessary. Uh, it's just extra frames that we're going to squeeze out of the game. <clears throat> House insulation, display distance, you can turn this up, turn it down, doesn't matter. Lighting, put it to low. This this is a deal breaker for me, all right? right you're not going to be playing in, in Plato City with no lights. It, it's not going to be just how it is, how it looks right now on the screen, and this is just awful. Uh, character texture resolution. Let's go ahead and at least put this to normal. I mean, I'll, I like to look at myself. You could probably even squeeze out high here. And you are also setting the other players display distance lower. If you want, if you can't squeeze out that high, go ahead and turn this down as well. You know, you can just get rid of players altogether. Uh, let's go ahead and continue NPC, NPC texture resolution. I would recommend low or normal. Um, even from high to normal is a, is a big change. Background texture resolution. Let's try to keep that low. Static te shadow texture resolution also low. We're going to pretty much try to keep everything as low as we can while making the game look good. All right, let's turn on post processing and let's turn on our bloom here and let's turn anti aliasing to normal. We're going to keep no filter. I believe the game looks the best with no filter. So we're going to go ahead and try these settings and see how they work for us. A huge improvement, right? Keep in mind, most of the graphics we have in, in on here right now are the lowest settings in the game. We've only changed a few. And the game already looks so much better. Look at this. The lighting, it's just its just fantastic. You know, I could i could walk around and film this and people will be like, oh, this game looks pretty good. Even on the low, even with the low textures around the game, it still looks pretty decent. Things in the distance, sure, are going to look like, like Play-Doh for you, but this is if you're trying to maximize your frame rate right here, guys. I definitely would recommend these settings if you're struggling for frame rate or you're just looking to get the most out of the game while keeping it looking as good as you can. There were a couple settings in this video that I did go over and say to set it how you can afford to. Please go ahead and go back into the settings menu and change those if you can. And that's going to be the end of this video. I know it was a short one, but I do want to thank you for watching. And I hope that these settings do help you in any way. I do post Elyon videos every couple days, so please consider subscribing, liking the video, clicking the bell. I'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment of what guides you want to see next. As always, thank you very much for your time and happy grinding on Elyon. Peace.